This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Having several tools on several USBs or CDs can be a real pain in the butt, especially when you're looking for a specific one, but you don't remember which USB you put it on. To save us from the trouble and to save us time, there are many applications available online that let you create just one multi-bootable USB drive. Thus, you can store all of your tools on one USB drive instead of like 10. We reviewed Yumi a little while back in Unit Bootin. Darren's also done his multi-pass, and I've checked out Katana. This week, I'm checking out a couple of your user picks, Xboot and Sardu. The first one is Xboot. This one is a lightweight utility for creating multi-bootable USBs or CDs. To use it, you just download the zip file over from their website, which is sites.google.com slash site slash Sharmux Xboot. You open the application and you plug in your USB flash drive. Now, you'll need to have some ISOs already downloaded onto your computer, or you can go into File, Download, and choose some of your favorite utilities in Linux distros. For example, I have already down downloaded a whole bunch of ISOs onto my computer. I got Clonezilla, Puppy Linux, and Offcrack as well in my nice little ISO folder to keep them organized. When I go into Xboot, if I didn't have them, I could also go to File, Download, and choose any kind of utility, a Linux distro or what have you, click on it and go to the open download web page. And it'll download it automatically for me. Very nice and very simple. Once they are done installing, you can drag the ISOs into the box under the Create Multi-Boot USB slash ISO tab. For mine, I chose my off-crack Clonezilla and Puppy Linux distro. So I'll just go over to my window and drag all three of these over. Make sure those are correct. Yeah, those look good. The correct megabyte size. Now over on the other side, you can see the total size of the files added. You can remove any files that you need to. You can look up the MD5 hash checksum in case you're wondering if it's the actual tool. And at the very bottom, you can choose to create your ISO Live CD or a USB bootable flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and choose my flash drive. Create USB. Now, as usual, you do want to make sure that you're selecting your USB flash drive and not your hard drive. So I went ahead and chose my D drive, which is my flash drive, snubs number two. And this is pretty cool. You can choose what kind of bootloader you want to put on here. You have the options for Sys Linux, which is the recommended one, Grub for DOS, or you do not have to install any bootloader if you really don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and choose Sys Linux and press OK. And I'll just have to wait for a couple of moments while it installs everything onto my flash drive. And then once you click Next, it'll start copying all of your ISOs to your thumb drive and create the bootloader. So just kick back, relax, go get a beer, and wait for it to finish. All right, USB created successfully. So once it is created, you'll have the option to run it on QEMU to test it. You can also edit the flash drive by clicking on the tab that says Edit Multi-Boot USB inside the Xboot uh, program. Now, the second one that I chose, or that you guys chose, is called Sardu. Sardu can be found over at sarducd.it. Now, Sardu is a program that I found that was apparently made by Vikings using hieroglyphics, as you can tell by the cute little photos all over the program. You simply plug in your flash drive, you click on your choices for your antivirus, utilities, Linux distros, and or Windows CDs, and you choose to make a bootable USB. Now, clicking on the different utilities and Linux distros will download them from their websites. You can also click ISO at the top, and you can choose Make ISO, and then click on an ISO folder sometime somewhere inside your Windows Explorer, and you can choose to make it on your flash drive. Now, I downloaded all of mine into my Downloads folder, so I, I'm just going to navigate over to my Downloads folder, ISO, Make ISO, and my nice little ISOs folder, and I press OK and it'll look through that folder and find all of my ISOs and it will create the ISOs for me or it'll put them into Sardu for me. So I see that each one that I had, which should just be the three, are highlighted in green. Clonezilla, Offcrack, and Poppy Linux. 
Once you're all done, including all of your ISOs, you can click that cute little USB button up at the top or the CD button and wait for it to finish creating the bootable USB. And once it's done, you can boot off your flash drive using Super Grub Disk. The tabs at the top enable you to check the hash. You can create and defrag your USB as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer and boot into Sys Linux for Xboot and Grub for Sardu, and I'm going to try them out. So let's see if they work. All right, I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer now that I know Clonezilla is working, and I'm going to try Sardu. Okay, Sardu looks to be working. I got into the menu pretty good. Tools. So these are a lot of built-in tools that come with Sardu. You can also choose your utilities and your Linux distros. Let's see if Puppy Linux works on here. Okay, so it looks like they both work and they work well. The three ISOs that I chose, they I'm assuming all three of them boot properly since the first ones did, and I can always add more if I want to. So, of these two, I do have to say that Sardu, which was obviously made for Vikings, took a little bit more time for me to figure out how to get my ISOs onto the USB and make it bootable. It turns out I was just thinking way too hard when trying to add my ISO folders. Xboot, on the other hand, was pretty natural to figure out and it was easy to use. Xboot was definitely my favorite. So after Googling around for other multi-boot creators, I think I found all the ones that I could, but are, are there other ones? Do you guys use a tool that you could make my life easier? Make sure you email me over at feedback at hack5.org. Now coming up soon, we'll be answering your email questions, but first let's take a break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. You guys know I love Domain.com, they're a huge fan of the show, and they want you to know if you want to build a video site or if your website just has a play button, I totally recommend getting yourself a .tv domain from them. A .tv website lets you showcase your original content and create a unique site, not just another YouTube channel. Go to Domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your new idea. Then use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout to save an extra 15%. And if you need hosting for your new .tv website, don't forget about Domain.com's web hosting plans. They're less than six bucks a month and have everything you need to build, maintain, and promote your site. Remember, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain, Domain.com. Whether you're trying to copy a PID from top or a BSS ID from AirDumpNG, when your terminal's constantly refreshing, the task is cumbersome at best. So calm that screen with the shortcut Control S. Now to resume, simply hit Control Q. And specifically to AirDump NG, not only can you pause the screen with the spacebar, but there are all sorts of handy keystrokes, like Tab, which will let you scroll up and down through a list of stations, or S, which will change the sorting columns, or my favorite, which is M, which marks connection groups with specific colors. It's beautiful. Now, thanks go to Sit1 and Bethany for sending in these and getting some Hack5 complimentary swag. Send your four bits in at hack5.org nibble.